when will this patch of ice be replaced by home plate? After years of disappointment, baseball fans are once again getting their hopes up that the good news could be just a few weeks away. With pride in the past, the Tampa Bay area is excited to present its credentials to the expansion committee of Major League Baseball. St. Petersburg is once again pitching for an expansion team. Winners should be named early next year. We are going to get a team this time around. Businessman Vince Namoli says a team would be good for him as principal owner and for the struggling local economy. This is the single most important project in our area. A new baseball team can indeed hit a financial home run. Economists say the Marlins helped generate $200 million in business for Miami during their first year. The Rockies did the same for Denver. Businesses here see baseball as a ray of sunshine in what's normally their off-season. If we just did 100 rooms a night, 80 games, it's 8,000 hotel rooms, and that equates to maybe a million to a million and a half, two million dollars in revenue for the resort. It would sure be a grand slam for Ferg's, a sports bar just a line drive away from the Dome. It would even let owner Mark Ferguson quit his day job as a phys ed teacher. We're going to go from doing just over half a million dollars in business to doing over a million dollars, a million and a half dollars per year. Ironically, though baseball may be on its way, football may be on its way out. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are for sale and could be transferred. At their outdated stadium in Tampa, the Bucks have a dismal record on the gridiron and at the ticket window. But boosters, like sports radio host Hubert Mizell, insist that baseball wouldn't suffer the same fate. This area has over 32,000 applications for season tickets for Major League Baseball. Uh, you know, all I can say is, America, you know, give us a real fair shot and then judge us. Now, to, to give you some idea how tough times have been down here, there were ads on the radio asking people to come to yesterday's game between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Los Angeles Rams to show that they could really draw a crowd here. The Sunday papers call it the relocation bowl. Ooh. And who might be thinking of buying the Bucs? Well, that's another story. Among other people, Tampa resident and New York Yankees boss George Steinbrenner. Of course, he has been quiet about the whole thing to this point. <laughs> I wonder why. So what do you think is going to happen? Are they going to be able to get it this time around? Well, they certainly think that this is their best shot. And they even have an ace in the hole this time. You know, after the Giants deal fell through, the ownership group sued Major League Baseball, multi-million dollar suit. And what they've said is we're going to put that suit on hold until after the expansion announcement is made. If we get a team, we'll forget the whole thing. If we don't get a team, we'll see you in court. All right, John Stair, thanks.